yo what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be ranking every single tier 100 skin in fortnite history but if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on post notifications to be notified every single time i upload real quick i want to give a shout out to everybody who's been commenting noti gang on my videos and if you want to shout out in my next video comment hashtag noti gang down below and if you want to go the extra mile to support me you can use code knock Jesus in the fortnite item shop but with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into this video on this list there's two seasons where we didn't get actual tier 100 skins so for season four and season six i'm going to go ahead and use the tony stark skin for tier 100 and menace for tier 100 season six because i think those are really the tier 100 skins the reason i'm counting them on this list is because they are the highest tier skins on the battle pass along with the black knight skin in season two so coming in the number 15 spot on this list we have the vendetta skin in my opinion this was just such a boring tier 100 skin and it was in season 9 which just so happens to be one of my least favorite seasons vendetta is a pretty good skin i just don't think it's a great tier 100 skin compared to the other tier 100 skins on this list i definitely think it is a little over hated though because some people are just ruthless towards this skin i don't understand it i mean I personally don't hate any of the tier 100 skins i mean this is still a good skin it's just not as good as the other ones in the next spot we have the dire skin i think the thing that killed this skin for me is that it took a lot of xp to get the higher edit styles unlocked so throughout the majority of season six when this was the tier 100 skin you had the really boring plain version that looks like tfu and personally i just didn't like that skin very much the dire skin itself once you get the wolf form and stuff is still a pretty cool skin and it also has some pretty good edit styles too. It's definitely not a bad skin by any means. It's still a pretty solid tier 100 skin. I wouldn't be mad if we got this today. But at the time I feel like it was such a disappointment because we just come off Black Knight, then Reaper, then Omega, and then Ragnarok as a tier 100 skin. And then we get Dire and I feel like it was just kind of disappointing at the time. I think the upside about this skin that actually had to put it over Vendetta is the fact that it had an awesome back bling. The wolf pack is such a solid back bling. I think everybody kind of likes this skin whether you're a sweat or not. And that back bling definitely bumped it up a few points and this skin is going to take the number 14 spot. In the next spot we have the Ice King. I feel like this skin was the perfect tier 100 skin to have this season. Season 7 was obviously a winter themed season and the Ice King fit very well at this time. The back bling on this skin was fire, the pickaxe on this skin was fire, the only thing I didn't like about this skin was it was kind of bulky which makes me kind of not want to run it as much, but it still is a pretty memorable and solid tier 100 skin I feel like from this point on is where we start to get to the really good tier 100 skins. In the next spot we have the menace skin that was actually like a tier 87 or something like that but in reality we all know it's really a tier 100 skin, it's the highest tier skin in the battle pass. And honestly, I feel like this one was really underrated. Not a lot of people were very excited about it. And I think it's because it wasn't at the actual tier 100. This is kind of why I feel like it's a bad idea for Fortnite to use anything other than a skin as the tier 100. Because honestly, it just kills the hype for the best skin in the battle pass. This skin fit the season really well and it actually had its own location on the map. There's a lot of different edit styles you can use with this. And I love the purple flames on it a lot, like I said earlier. It has a pretty good back bling and pretty good pickaxes and overall it was just a solid tier 100 skin. In the next spot we have the Reaper skin. The Reaper was the tier 100 skin of the season 3 battle pass but one thing that's cool about this skin is I'm pretty sure it was the first ever collab skin. They didn't technically call it John Wick but everybody knows it's really John Wick. Even in the John Wick trailer when they made the new John Wick skin it shows up in the trailer so everybody knows it is John Wick. But the Reaper is a really good tier 100 skin. It's really iconic and I remember back in the day everybody grinding to get it. This was the first ever skin design where it was a male skin in a suit which is the slimmer male skin designs that I like a lot more. So I actually like this skin quite a bit and it's going to take the number 11 spot. In the number 10 spot we have the Eternal Knight. The Eternal Knight was a really cool skin to get in season 3. I like the back bling and pickaxe this skin came with and I also like the super level style you could unlock. This skin had three different edit styles. It had a black knight edit style, it had a gold knight edit style, and a silver one. It's basically the girl version of the Ultima Knight but it is a really cool tier 100 skin and it's going to have to take the number 10 spot. 
In the number 9 spot, we have the Spire Assassin. I think this skin is so underrated. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this tier 100 skin, and I think they definitely should. I think it's so cool, and there is the potential that we'll get more edit styles throughout the season. I'm not sure yet, but if we do, it might bring it up even higher on this list, but I think this is such a cool looking tier 100 skin. I love the emote where you can take the helmet off. I think that's really cool. And overall, it's just such a solid skin. It comes with an awesome pickaxe, an awesome backling, and even an awesome glider. The whole set is really cool. And this skin, I think, was the perfect tier 100 skin to have in this battle pass this season. And it's going to have to take the number 9 spot. In the number 8 spot, we have the Fusion skin. I feel like this skin was overhated at the time. People really didn't like this tier 100 skin, but I really thought it was one of the cooler looking ones. The base style is my favorite style, but I also think it's cool how they kind of did the thing with the black and blue dress where they made the black and blue and then the white and gold color. I don't know if you guys remember that, but a long time ago there was like this dress that had everybody fooled because some people would see blue and black and other people would see white and gold. And they basically did that as a joke for this skin. I thought that was really funny. And the skin itself is really cool. It comes with an awesome pickaxe and an awesome back bling. The whole set that comes with this skin is awesome. And this skin is a really cool tier 100 skin. In the next spot, we have the Lux skin. I know this is probably going to be the most controversial skin on this list. Because most people either think it's the worst battle pass skin or it's one of the best battle pass skins. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I don't think it's a terrible battle pass skin like a lot of people say. They went for a more simple theme here, and honestly, I don't think it looks terrible. I think the simple theme's kind of cool. And overall, I just think this skin is a really cool skin. It's got to be up there on the list. It comes with an awesome back bling and an awesome pickaxe, and it's just really solid. In the number six spot, we have the Tony Stark skin. Once again, this is a skin where basically, instead of making the skin the tier 100, they use the edit style, but we're just going to use a skin for the purpose of this list. And this skin is such a cool looking skin. You have a bunch of different edit styles for it. The Tony Stark skin is a pretty solid skin. I didn't like a lot of the stuff in this battle pass because basically they'd be exclusive to just the skin. I really didn't like that, but for this skin, there wasn't a whole lot of that. Most of the stuff you got with the skin, you could use on any skin. And overall, I think it was just a really solid skin. In the number five spot, we got the Ragnarok skin. I remember when this skin released, I was so hyped. Season five of the best tier one and tier 100 combination of any season. The pickaxe for this skin was the permafrost, which I thought was really cool. The idea for the skin itself I think is really cool too. You have a bunch of different edit styles for it, and there's actually a few of them that I think look really good. My favorite being the final tier. And this skin also came with the frozen shroud for the back bling, which is one of the coolest back blings we've gotten in the battle pass. And overall, this skin was just so good for the time. In the number four spot, we have Midas. This is one of my favorite Fortnite characters of all time. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 was actually the best season of Chapter 2 and this was the tier 100 skin of this season. This skin was awesome. I love the different edit styles you could get for it. I liked how he'd make the weapons you hold gold. I think this skin is just such a cool skin. I think a lot of people feel the same way because I see it used a lot to this day. The thing about this skin is when it first came out I really didn't think it was that cool but it's grown on me so much since then. And now, in my opinion, it's a top 5 tier 100 skin. In the number 3 spot, we have Black Knight. This is the OG top tier Fortnite Battle Pass skin. And I gotta say, it's definitely worth the hype. It's such an awesome skin. I just think the Knight skins in Fortnite looked so cool. And the Black Knight is no exception. In my opinion, it's probably one of the coolest ones, aside from maybe like the Red Knight. And you gotta give Black Knight credit for being the OG, because in the number two spot we have the Ultima Knight. The Ultima Knight is basically a reskin of the Black Knight skin. But the thing about the Ultima Knight is you get a bunch of different edit styles. And for the first styles, it's kind of like you mix the Ice King and the Black Knight and made the Ultima Knight. It's an awesome skin. You get a red version of the Black Knight, a gold version of the Black Knight, and a silver version, and they all look really cool. You get another shield. I personally think the Black Knight shield looks better, though. But the reason I put the Ultima Knight so high on this list is because you get a bunch of different edit styles. It's basically an upgraded version of the Black Knight. And overall, I just think it's a really cool skin. And it's definitely the second best tier 100 skin we've ever gotten. And in the number one spot, we have the Omega skin. The Omega skin was such a cool tier 100 skin. I definitely think it was the best tier 100 skin of all time. It had four different edit styles with the Omega lights. And it was actually the first skin to have edit styles in Fortnite. 
And the Omega Lights were actually hard to unlock because back in the day, level 80 used to be really hard because the levels and the battle pass tiers were separate. And level 80 used to be a really difficult thing to get because the max level was level 100. So most people didn't unlock this skin all the way through, but the people that did were definitely in for a treat because this skin is awesome. You have different edit styles on how much armor he has. Like you can use the thinner version if you want. You can change the lights on it. The pickaxe was really cool. And overall, this skin is just the best tier 100 skin in my opinion, no doubt. But that's it for my list, everybody. Comment your favorite tier 100 skin down below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications to be notified every single time I upload. And with all that being said, I'm out, dudes. Peace.